Hey Russell fam, today I am doing favorite winter soup collaboration. It is hosted by Megan at Pennies and Salt. I will leave a link to her channel up right here and I will also leave it in the description below and also the playlist. There's going to be some great soup recipes so make sure to check them out. My soup recipe I am doing is chicken taco soup. Stay tuned! Hey Russell fam, today we are making chicken taco soup in the slow cooker. Be back in just a second. Okay, for this video you will need two boneless skinless chicken breasts and I will leave all of the amounts and ingredients down in the description box. You will need a pack of ranch mix. I use Instead of just plain pinto beans, I use the Bush's chili beans with the mild chili sauce. I like it because it adds a little extra to it. You're going to need a pack of taco seasoning. You are going to need a can of Rotel tomatoes. You are going to need a can of black beans drained. I wash mine as well, or rinse mine as well. You're going to need a can of kidney beans drained. I also um, rinse mine. You are going to need a can of corn, also drained. You are going to need 15 ounces of chicken broth. And you're going to need two cans of stewed tomatoes. I use our homemade tomatoes that we grow every year. And so I'm going to get everything ready to go in the crock pot and I'll be back in just a second. We already have our two chicken breast in our slow cooker. I have already drained and rinsed the black beans, the kidney beans, and the corn. So I'm going to pour that in here. I'm going to add our can of Rotel tomatoes. You do not drain that. Here is our can of chili pinto beans. Get a spoon. All right, and then since our can of kidney beans and black beans are already 15 ounces, I'm going to just pour my chicken broth in there to measure. Just pouring it in here. My chicken broth. And we just pour it over in here. Then we are going to pour in our two cans of stewed tomatoes, which I mix mine up and turn it into more of a sauce just because the kids don't like the chunky, as much chunky tomatoes. But the recipe calls for the stewed tomatoes, so it's your choice. And then we use our pack of ranch seasoning. And then we use our pack of taco seasoning. And then I just kind of mix it a little bit to get the seasoning all in there because your two chicken breasts are on the bottom. And I want the seasoning to be all the way in it. And so just kind of mix it up a little bit till all your seasoning is good and mixed. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to put this in the slow cooker, put the top on it, and we are going to cook it on low for six hours since we have the chicken breast in there I like to do it for six so when it's done I'll be back to show you what it looks like all right Russell fam it has been six hours since this has been in the crock pot look how good it looks now we're going to take out our chicken breasts that we had in here and we are going to shred them
and these are hot and I know some people do it with a fork pulling it apart or they put it on a cutting board I do it a fun way I take my mixer and put it on low and I shred my chicken breast so that way I'm not getting burned Alright, it's going to make a little bit of a mess. I probably should have got a bigger bowl. And you see how easy it shreds it. There you go. Now you now have shredded chicken. Now once it's shredded, we're going to stick it back in the crock pot. And this does make a really big recipe. So my family of four gets two to three meals out of it. And I typically freeze half of it, just so that way when it's cold here in Mississippi, cause you never know what the weather's gonna be, we can just defrost it and pull it out. And there we go. And we have soup for a cold day. So now it's all mixed in there. And I'm going to put it in a bowl and let you see what it looks like. So I just scoop some in my bowl and I always top it with a little bit of your favorite cheese. Mine is sharp cheese. So I'm going to top it with that. And then I am going to put some sour cream in it. And there you go. You can serve it with tortillas or you can serve it with crackers, whichever one you want. And Let's take a bite to see how yummy it is. I know it's hot, but let me take a bite. Mmm. That is so good. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please ch um, subscribe to our channel if you're new. And give us a big thumbs up. And everything you need to know about this recipe will be in our description in the bottom. Bye!